Father, we thank you. We give you all the praise and glory. What an awesome day to be alive. What an awesome season. We give you praise, you are God. We do it. Thank you for giving us a sense of mission. Thank you for vision. Thank you for focus. Thank you for taking away distractions out of our destiny. We bless your name. We are men and women that touches your heart. Say, David, a man after my heart, who shall fulfill all of my commandments. We give you praise for making us a Davidic people. Jesus name, amen. Task of evangelism. God saved us so we can be instrument of salvation to others. Many, many, many in the nations are heading for destruction. And God has given you and I a task to save them. Strategy, prayer, Strategy fasting, strategy going, strategy evangelizing, and not just evangelism. We're talking about soul winning. Why? He that winneth soul is wise. 11 and 30 Proverbs. He that winneth soul is wise. Let's flip flop it. He that does not win soul is unwise. It's a fool. So we have a task of soul winning. And when you say soul winning, there's a battle over souls. <laughs> the mind, the will, the emotions. There's a battle for souls. Satan said, no way. So that's why you will see every church, every individual, every group, every missionary organization that is focused on winning soul. They become someone or an establishment that Satan will hate. Because he has a mission. His days are short. He wants to make sure he's taking a lot of people to hell. So when you hook up to God, because that's the reason why Jesus came in here. When you hook up to God, I say, Jesus, use me. I want to fulfill your mission. You see that uh, you become uh, you become known. Satan, we know you. Because he knows as long as you exist, as long as you are focused, souls that he wants to take to hell, you know, he didn't want to take them to hell. By the Holy Ghost. God will use you to take them to heaven. So we're talking about soul now. We, we, we're not talking about just evangelism. We're not talking about people just coming to church, sitting down. We're talking about winning their soul. People, folk being saved. Their soul is saved. Knowing Jesus. Not, not ever learning, but never able to come to the knowledge of truth. We're talking about people coming to the knowledge of truth. Mature sons and daughters of God. Soul winning is a battle battle for souls that's why god is calling you and i to this laudable assignment we got to get involved with all of our life with all of our being he called the 12. he called the 70. in luke chapter 9 verse 1 he gave the 12 power and authority to cast out demons heal the sick to perform miracles you know why because he sent them he sent them that's why you too you need to be loaded with power and authority if you will begin to go god had vowed to load you up with power and authority over all devils including your family devils financial devils marital devils bodily devils you know just name it all devils mean all devils but you can't be loaded with power and with authority if you are not sent now listen what's the qualification for this all your cv need to all that is needed to be in your cv your resume is i am genuinely born again there's no way you can be a child of god that the seal of the house of God will not heat you up. Talking about the task of evangelism. In John chapter 2, Jesus was invited to a wedding, including his mother. And he went there with his disciples. And they were there, miracles and verse 11. This beginning of miracles did Jesus in Cana of Galilee and he manifested forth his glory and his disciples believed on him. But shortly after that verse in verse 12, Jesus 
entered into the temple number one entering the temple of your body yeah the temple of the living god flushing out all sickness or disease or sorrow or shame or pain or fear or heart attack or, or all sickness or disease or cancer whatever is in there but he literally entered the temple and he saw men selling and buying. Oh Jesus, if Jesus entered our present day temple, when we all come together and refuse to make a temple or the temple of our body, or the temple of our gathering are you sure he's not going to meet the same thing you know what jesus did the seal of the house of the lord has eaten me up he made a scorch he literally made his scorch and beat out all those who were selling in the temple and declared my house shall be called a house of prayer so there are there are there is there is a task of praying for the nations but you have made it a den of thieves and robbers so there is a task of praying for the nations. Pray ye therefore the Lord to send for laborers. It's harvest. Is it correct for us to pray for nations? Psalms 2 verse 10. Psalms 2 verse 8. Ask of me, I'll give you the heathen or the nations for thy inheritance and the uttermost part of the earth for thy possession. Somalia, Jesus saved Somalia, Mali, Mauritania, save these nations, Algeria, save this nation, China, thank you for what you're doing in China, thank you for what you continue to do, save this nation, save Asia, India, Lord Jesus, save this nation, Mongolia, save this nation, save the nations of the earth, Jesus, we pray, save the nations of the earth save the nations of the earth tajikistan Turkmenistan, afghanistan iran iraq syria jesus save this nation jesus save this nation jesus save the nations from there a burden will rise from there a passion to go from there we begin to see power and authority Invested in your life, the which if the enemy try to harass or attack, you just crush the enemy and you come back rejoicing. Not that you see miracles, but that your name is written in the Lamb of Life. Jesus, don't rejoice. But the Father, demons must subject to you for going on the mission that I sent you, for reaching out to people. I write your name in the Lamb Book of Life. Can I tell you this? Everyone that is saved, your name is written, but it can be blotted out through your own personal choice of unrighteousness or sin. But when you are in the mission for Jesus, when you occupy, when you are busy, I must be by my Father's business. Jesus said, you know one thing? <laughs> I'm not going to put this name temporarily. there. I will put this one permanent. James, John, Peter, Bartholomew, Thomas, the Doubt. I'm going to put your name there. I'm going to put your name there. Timothy, I'm going to put your name. Rejoice in that your name is written in the book of life. The task of evangelism is for you and is for myself. Let's get peace. Let's get focused. Pray against the destruction and continue to move for Jesus. May God bless you. May God reveal the urgency of the hour to you. May God download you afresh with his power, with his authority. May God take you out of the bunch. Be ye separate, says the Lord. Take you out of the bunch and begin to build you and begin to use you and begin to make you and mold you. Father, we thank you for those who are not yet saved. Pray this prayer if you want to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Pray it. Pray it now. Say, Father, I come before you. I ask for forgiveness of sins. Forgive me. Cleanse me. Wash me by your blood. Purify my heart. Thank you for cleansing me. Thank you for perfecting everything that concerns me. Take all the glory and all. 
worship your majesty in Jesus name. Amen. It's not by chance that you are watching. Whether you watch, whether you edit, whether you record, whether you hear, whether it's one minute, God made it that you listen. Don't let this video be played back that day against you. Let it be played for you. Either at and hear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying.